Before we can set up our timecode using TC2000, we must first be sure we're using a TC2000. Pangolin also makes a product called the TC4000, which works differently, but is very similar in appearance. To know which unit you have, look on the bottom of the device. If it says TC2000 on it, then it is a TC2000. If it says TC4000, or MTC converter, it is set up a different way. Check our Quickens video on TC4000 if you have that device. Now that we have confirmed you have the TC2000, what we first want to do is go to the Pangolin website and download the TC2000 drivers. Go ahead and install those drivers with Beyond closed. Once that is done, it doesn't hurt to restart your PC to ensure the driver is installed correctly. Once your PC has restarted, plug the TC2000 into your PC through a USB device and you should hear the Windows USB connection sound. Then we can start Beyond. Once Beyond is open, we can go to Settings, TC2000 Controller Settings. First enable Controller Communication and Update List. You should see something called a COM port. The number doesn't matter so much. If you do not see any active COM port, then your driver installation didn't work, and you can try again or contact support and we can assist. If you do see a COM port, then click on it and press Connect. You'll get a window saying Controller Successfully Connected. Feel free to press OK. If you have two COM ports, try one at a time and one will work. One last thing we need to do in this window is decide what incoming timecode format we will use. Whatever source is sending you timecode should be able to tell you which to use. Just note, drop means the frame rate is usually something like 29.95 instead of a whole 30 FPS. Once you have that set, you can close this window. You are now ready to receive timecode. While we cover timecode settings in depth in our Timeline Quickens video, let's briefly set up a timeline to follow incoming timecode. Once you see incoming timecode in the preview window, go to the timeline you wish to bind the timecode to. Right click on the tab and click Show Properties. Under Timecode Input, you should enable incoming timecode and press OK. Lastly, you just need to click the TC In button at the top of the screen and your timeline will start to follow incoming timecode. Thank you for watching this Quick Hints video about the TC2000. If you're still having trouble, feel free to email support at pangolin.com and we'll help you as soon as possible.